into the storage service. The first topic that we'll be understanding is block storage. Then we'll be understanding file storage and lastly the object storage. And what are the AWS services which can be used for block, file and object? I guess till now you would be understanding what is block storage. We have already covered this in our previous classes. So block storage is actually a type of data storage method that is used to store and manage data in computer systems. Now what is the feature or what is the you know peculiarity of this kind of storage is that the data is stored into fixed size chunks or blocks and these blocks can be individually accessed. The size of these blocks can go from you know few kilobytes to several megabytes in size. Each block will be assigned with a unique identifier that is unique ID which is used to locate and access the blocks. So block storage is basically used in enterprise level storage system such as SAN that is storage area networks or NAS that is network attached storage to provide fast and reliable access to large amount of data. So this storage will be ideal for applications that require high performance and low latencies such as databases and virtual machines. So we have already talked about EC2 instances, right? If we want permanent storage to be attached with EC2 instance, then we use the EBS volumes and these volumes are attached to EC2 instances for persistent block level storage. So AWS also refers to block storage as storage of data in fixed size of blocks or chunks. Right. And the service that is being offered by AWS for block storage is EBS. So also one more thing I would like to add in block storage is some common example apart from EBS we can have is HDDs and SSDs that is hard disk drives and solid state drives, right? So these are the examples as well for the block storage. The next topic is file storage. So file storage means, now what happens into block storage is one EC2 instance, okay, is attached with one EBS volume. Now, what if I want multiple EC2 instances to share one storage. So that won't be possible with EBS. So that's where the file storage comes into the picture. Where we want that multiple EC2 instances can be accessing this underlying storage. Where numerous applications require access to shared files. At that time we want the file storages. So network attached storage is commonly employed over here, the NAS storages. For AWS, we do have the service called as EFS, that is Elastic File Storage and Amazon FSx. These are the file storage solutions that can be supporting the use cases for content repositories where multiple EC2 want to access the shared content. We can also use these in development environments for machine learning, data science, media stores or user home directories. So when we want multiple EC2 to share one underlying storage, then we would be going with this file storages. We would be discussing in depth about file storages in our coming modules. Uh, basically into coming slides, not into module. It is the part of this particular module itself. For high performance computing, we have FSx for luster, right? So what is this? We'll be understanding it very soon. The next type of storage which is available is object store. So object store basically is designed for internet use. 
and what it consists it consists of buckets and objects if we talk specifically about s uh, basically s s3 or aws okay so here we are specifically talking about aws so we have a bucket okay that is called as s3 bucket on aws so bucket is nothing but a container in which we can store our objects okay reiterating this again s3 that is simple storage service of aws is example of object storage solution this is a serverless solution when i say serverless it means that we can store virtually infinite amount of data inside of these buckets so this are very useful for archiving purpose for backup for analytical purpose where we want to have big data where we want to store huge amount of data then in that case we can use s3 buckets so buckets can contain objects what are objects objects are nothing but these are the files these can be any kind of files okay it can be suppose mp4 it can be the pdf file it can be the uh, jpeg files any type of file you can be storing inside of this s3 bucket so object storage is what we are going to discuss majorly in this particular module